good morning. Uh, I would like to thank the organization of the seminar and the invitation. And uh, I'm going to talk about the HAPA model in individual health behaviors. And I will start uh, with a brief presentation of the model and then some research we conducted in our, in our, in our team and some conclusions. Um, the HAPA may be regarded as an extension of the social cognitive theory, focuses on health behavior change, and it elaborates explicitly on the process that occur after goals or behavioral intention have been set, uh, contrary to some traditional models such as TPB. Uh, in line with the Rubicon model, it makes a distinction between pre-intentional motivation processes leading to behavioral intentions and post-intentional volitional process leading to actual health behavior. Thus, the HAPA is a hybrid model with a continuum layer as well as a stage layer. This two-layer uh, architecture enables one to switch between the continuum model or the stage model, depending on the research questions. Research that is based on the continuum layer employs path analytic research designs when explaining and predicting health behaviors. When designing intervention, the stage layer is also considered uh, very useful. Uh, in, the stage, in the stage model, the basic idea is that individuals pass uh, through different qualitative mindsets on their way to behavior change, and interventions may be most efficient when tailored to these particular mindsets. The model uh, has two phases. Uh, in the initial motivation phase, an individual develops an intention to act. The most important constructs contributed to intention are risk perception, outcome expectancies, and action self-efficacy. Um, risk perception is seen as a distal antecedent and um, neg negligible in many contexts. On the contrary, outcome expectancies are chiefly seen as being important in this phase when someone balances the benefits and costs expected to be experienced by adopting the behavior. Outcome expectancies can be social, emotional, physical, for example. The need to believe in one, one's ability to perform a novel or a difficult desire action contributes to intention also. Then, intention has to be transformed into detailing instructions on how to perform the desire action, and the initiation and maintenance of an action is not achieved through a single act of uh, uh, will, but involves self-regulatory -regula skills and strategies. In this phase, the model emphasized two main constructs, planning and self-efficacy. And action planning uh, is a mental uh, uh, simulation of when, where, and how one intends to perform the behavior, and uh, the anticipation of potential obstacles and preparation strategies for dealing with such barriers is coping planning. Action control is a new uh, recent construct included in the, mo in the model and is an ongoing, an ongoing regulatory process which partially occur, occurs during behavioral enactment. As during the course of health behavior change, different tasks have to be mastered, several phase-specific self-efficacy beliefs are proposed. One is coping or maintenance self efficacy that represents optimistic beliefs about one's ability to cope with barriers that arise during the maintenance period. And recovery self-efficacy addresses the faith in our competence to regain control after a setback. However, the HAPA is not a directly testable set of hypotheses, but rather an open architectural framework. So, one should not expect to find a single acid test of the entire model as displayed. Researchers typically apply the main path analytic design of the model using a subset of constructs. 
Many studies have explicitly or implicitly used the HAPA uh, to predict several health-related behaviors, health-enhancing behaviors, risk reduction, regular self-care, symptom detection, uh, for example. And when our research group started doing uh, research with this model as a backdrop, it was guided by more general issues pinpointing by several researchers, namely Susan Mickey and Ralph Schwarzer himself, uh, which drew our attention to gaining insight into, the, into mediating processes, uh, specifying volitional factors that should be included in the self-regulatory processes, and the need to isolate and test essential techniques to the efficacy of the interventions. Hence, we posed as aims to extend interventions based on the HAPA to new individual health behaviors, namely condom use, and to, and to study the psychological mechanisms involved. Uh, we aimed also to explore new volitional constructs, keeping the model as simple as possible. We developed interventions based on the stage in which individuals find themselves, and we test some uh, behavioral change techniques, and more recently, we aim to investigate technologies as support for health behavior change. So, Cristina Godinho, uh, one of our um, research in our team, has further research on the psycholog psychological mechanisms involved in fruit and vegetable intake. We know that dietary behaviors require both motivational and volitional processes, however, the latter uh, have, has only been studied more recently, and the study has focused this study on the role of coping planning and action control to less study volitional variables in the scope of fruit and vegetable intake in order to examine psychological process relevant for this behavior and also to investigate the joint role of both, both constructs for the translation of intention into uh, fruit and vegetable intake. We follow the longitudinal design using an on-screen self-report questionnaire with through, uh, through mm, 203 participants, mainly women. And we tested a sequence of three nested, nested model, models, that is the last one, where the sequential mediation of intention on fruit and vegetable intake through both coping and action control show the best fit. Coping planning and action control are shown to act jointly in the prediction of fruit and vegetable intake. So, although planning was closely associated with intentions, its effect on behavior was not direct, but there were a serial mediation via action control. So, from Christina's work, I would say that although planning is a mediator between intention and action, this effect can vanish if other volitional constructs are included in the model, such as action control. So, different self-regulation variables may be needed according to individual behaviors. Other kinds of studies have expanded the HAPA further by exploring the inclusion of additional constructs such as preparatory behaviors for a less study behavior, namely condom use. Research has shown that preparatory behaviors were among the strongest determinant of condom use, and purchasing condoms and condom availability uh, have scarcely been studied in the context of pre- and post-intentional factors. So in Thelma's work, we wanted to investigate new relevant psychological constructs for condom use, and to test the mediational role of preparatory behaviors for the translation of intention into condom use. Uh, a longitudinal design with an on-screen uh, questionnaire with participants of a low level of education, where one-third had nine years of schooling, and uh, all were men uh, and uh, sexual active and heterosexual. Preparatory behaviors, not so much cognitive, but rather behavioral planning, proved to be the most proximal predictor of condom use, and the sequential mediation of intention to condom use through maintenance health efficacy and preparatory behaviors were found. 
from Thelma's work outside but preparatory behavior as an additional construct show to be an important pr proximal antecedent of behavior and pertaining to behavioral domain makes it a desirable secondary outcome of interventions. Most intervention studies focus on the mechanisms and constructs that characterize the continuum layer of the HAPA. Fewer intervention studies make use of the stage layer. Health behavior interventions have been proven to have different effects when targeting individuals at different stages of change. Uh, although few studi studies have focused upon helping those who have already formed strong intentions to use condoms, and with no prior drawing on the HAPA stage model as a theoretical backdrop. So we intend to test two stage-based interventions for non-intenders and intenders, and we investigated whether adopting condom use can be influenced by psychological treatment matched, matched to the characteristics of the participants. We have developed two interventions, one for individuals who do not intend to use condoms systematically, using a decisional balance, focus on past success to trigger self-efficacy and social comparison as behavioral change techniques. These are predictors of intention of the, in, the, in the upper model. The intervention for intenders has used two BCTs where participants were encouraged to form action plans by specifying and writing exactly when, where, and how they plan to use condoms. And also, barriers to condom use were presented and participants were asked to form plans to overcome uh, potential difficulties. Uh, Again, a longitudinal design, on-screen questionnaire, and a time one, intention and condom use were evaluated, and at the end of the intervention, at the end of the, the, the time one, uh, intervention took place. And two and four, four weeks later, new evaluations occurred. Through planned single degree of freedom contrast, both treatment arms were better than the passive control group. First, non-intenders changed their level of intention, and two weeks later, their behavior. For intenders, uh, uh, behavior only changed four weeks after, but not two weeks after intervention. This study by Thelma has shown that opportunities for a brief stage intervention can be effective in the context of sexual health, highlight the importance of targeting, and broaden our knowledge on the efficacy of specific BCTs. Finally, Mario Arujo, who is a hygienist, has used an intraoral camera in his, his dental sessions in order to study its effects on the psychological mechanisms involved in dental flossing. Research has shown that the use of images may, be, may prove very useful to overcome obstacles, and intraoral camera has never been studied in increasing dental flossing within the HAPA model. We use a biomarker, bleeding on marginal probing, the bump, to measure bleeding gums. And we have gave to all patients a new interproximal cleaning device, the gum chucks, to be used for dental flossing. Uh, a longitudinal design with a self-report self questionnaire applied one week before the session and four months, four months uh, after. The bump was applied during the session and four months later and its, its results were confirmed by a second professional. Uh, mm, 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 okay. But through and over repeated measures, um, we found an increase in dental flossing, a decrease, a particular decrease in bleeding, and changes in self-efficacy in terms of coping with barriers that could hinder the use of dental floss, and faith in the competence to regain control after a setback. Okay, this study backs technology such as AOC in supporting health behavior change through modifying some, some social cognitive determinants and combining the HAPA with information and communication technologies 
may optimize behavior interventions to enhance engagement and self-monitoring. To finish off, uh, as there are more studies conducted with the HAP for several different behaviors, I would say that meta-analysis are suitable for helping to distinguish differential benefits uh, of variables and process in individual health behaviors, as if we can have uh, HAPA uh, tailored for individual uh, health behaviors. Complete match-mismatch designs are still needed um, to prove the suitability of particular stage match uh, treatment. And an extension of the HAPA, the Health Technology Adoption and Maintenance, it's a model that describes the psychological factor and processes involved when people use digital devices for health behavior change purposes. And this extension uh, can be used as a backdrop for studies that use new technology, something that is occurring more and more nowadays. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.